Welcome back to Austin News TV and today we're going to first look at Thierry Henry giving his recommendation to Arsenal over Sambi Lakonga signing and then we're going to look at Arsenal outcast Matteo Guendouzi set for a shock contract extension. So the first transfer headline states that Thierry Henry gives recommendation to Arsenal over Sambi Lakonga signing. So the reports are stating that Thierry Henry has recommended the signing of Anderlecht midfielder Sambi Lakonga to Arsenal, according to reports in Belgium. The 21-year-old is regarded as one of the brightest young prospects in Belgium, after making his first team breakthrough at Anderlecht and has already captained the team this season. Arsenal, meanwhile, are in the market for a new central midfielder following the departure of Dani Ceballos and have made Brighton's Eva Basuma one of their top targets. But well, according to Avoid Ball 24, Arsenal also have Lokonga on their summer shortlist to bolster their defensive midfield options. The report claims that Arsenal have been considering a move, but Henri has now personally vouched for Lokonga in discussions with the Gunners' hierarchy. It's understood that Anderlecht will demand a fee in the region of £17 million for the midfielder. Lokonga has missed out on working alongside Henri with Belgium's national team at the European Championship this summer as he has not made the senior squad. But the midfielder has been named on Belgium's reserve list. Speaking last month, Miklo Sessa promised that Arsenal's squad will be given an overhaul this summer. The squad needs changing, said the Arsenal manager. There were already a lot of changes in December, something that has not been done in years, but it tells us where we are, things are going to have to change and the owners are going to back it up. So it looks like Thierry Henry has given his recommendation to Arsenal over Sambi Lokonga signing, and it looks like Sambi Lokonga is someone that is seen as a top prospect given his age is only 21, and after making his first team breakthrough at Anderlecht, he has already captained the team this season as well. In terms of Mikel Arteta, he's looking for a perfect midfield partner to Thomas Pozzi because we can clearly see that the likes of Granit Xhaka's future at the club remains uncertain and other players like Mohamed El Neni's future at the club remains uncertain and Danny Ceballos will be definitely leaving Arsenal and it's already been confirmed that he'll be returning to Real Madrid. So Samuel Lekonga is a viable option for the Gunners given this price tag is only £17 million. He could be seen as an Eva Basuma alternative. And when it comes to Thierry Henry, he's someone that is the Belgium assistant coach at the moment. He's one of the coaches that's going to be there going into the Euro 2020 Championship. And when it comes to Sambi Lekonga, he was someone that was on the reserve list. Unfortunately, didn't make it into the squad. But Thierry Henry is someone that is right currently in Belgium, helping the Belgian team. Probably sees him as a good option for the Gunners and has urged the Arsenal hierarchy to sign Sambi Lekonga. And in terms of Sambi Lekonga, he's someone that can develop onto... A better player, he could come to this Arsenal setup. He could turn out to be much better than he is currently at Anderlecht. But the big question is, would we be able to adapt to the Premier League? Because you can see that many players like come from the Bundesliga, come from Serie A, and they struggle in the Premier League because the Premier League for me, for everyone, pretty much is the toughest league to play in. And we have to wait and see how the Sambi Lakonga transfer pans out. So it's nice to take us on to the second piece of transfer news, which states that Arsenal outcast Matteo Guendouzi set for shock contract extension. So the reports are stating that Arsenal are reportedly ready to trigger a one-year extension to Matteo Guendouzi's contract. Matteo Guendouzi has been frozen out under Mikel Arteta and is expected to move on this summer. French side Marseille are in advanced talks to sign him, but negotiations have hit a snag. The two clubs can't agree on a fee for the Frenchman, with Marseille unwilling to pay big for a player who only has one year remaining on his contract. And Arsenal Chiefs are now set to extend this contract in order to drive his price up, according to Letten Sports. It's hoped the move would force Marseille to be more flexible with their current bid and will free up funds for Arsenal's own summer pursuits. Matteo Guendouzi spent last season on loan at Hertha Berlin, making 24 Bundesliga appearances. He was involved in the early days of Mikel Arteta's reign, but lost his place after a high-profile confrontation with Brighton striker Neil Mopé. There has been no way back for the midfielder since, and he has no future at the Emirates. 
However, I also still feel they should receive a fair fee for the 24-year-old with the price of £8.6 million being discussed. So it looks like Arsenal outcast Matteo Guendouzi is set for a short contract extension. And when it comes to Arsenal and the value of Matteo Guendouzi, I think it has diminished to a large extent because Matteo Guendouzi was looking around £25 million in January when the Gunners were looking to sell him at that moment in time because he was on loan at Hertha Berlin. And maybe Hertha Berlin made the intention to try him, sign him on a permanent transfer. At that moment, he was worth around 24 to 25 million pounds. But now it looks like his price has fell down massively, and it looks like it's in the region of 8 million pounds. As it looks like Marseille are the front runners in trying to sign Matteo Guendouzi. And given the fact that he only has one year remaining on his contract, with also at the moment, it looks like his price tag has fallen down to a large extent because we as also only spent £7 million pounds or so for Matteo Guendouzi. So we're not making any profit out of Matteo Guendouzi if we sell him. I'd rather keep him at the football club, give him a contract extension, even though he has problems with McLarteta. We all have mistakes, we all make mistakes and Matteo Guendouzi can easily learn from those mistakes because... It's his discipline that he needs to improve. I think he has all the talent in the world. It's another Sven Mislin that signing. He brought in a young prospect. And you never know, he could turn out to be a top, top prospect. And we're going to uh, miss out on the opportunity like we or we have of our own players like Serge Gnabry who just left and joined Bayern Munich can look at him right now. We probably would want him in our squad. And we see other players like Donia Marlin and other players like this that where we have sold them for a cheap value and then they have turned on to be big big players and then we have regretted as also fans managers and pretty much players as well so in terms of Matteo Guendouzi we have to wait and see how this transfer pans out because is Miklos it's a keen on bringing him back into the setup is the problems between Guendouzi and Arteta the big sticking point we will have to wait and see what happens but other than that guys remain blessed stay tuned for the next video and peace